People may think of artificial intelligence as something fairly new, but is actually underpinned by the work of 18th century mathematicians, philosophers, uh, psychologists such as Carl Friedrich Gauss, Simone Pierre Laplace and Leonard Euler and many others, and also theory developed in ancient Greece by the likes of Pythagoras and Euclid. But with popular cultural references such as the humanoid robot that impersonated Maria Metropolis and also the Tin Man um, in The Wizard of Oz, there has been a huge uh, body of knowledge created uh, around the end of the Second World War, which also highlighted the fact that people were starting being aware of AI. In 1950, Alan Turing, famous for cracking the Enigma code during the Second World War, asked the question, can machines think? And investigated how to develop intelligent machines and also how to evaluate them, the Turing test. Since then, there has been a huge body of AI research that brought us to today. AI uses computers, algorithms, machines to develop intelligent systems. We do that by training algorithms with large amounts of data so that we can mimic how humans make decisions, recommend actions and do all sorts of daily tasks. We can say that AI belongs to three different categories. So the first one, the narrow AI, is the AI that we see in our daily lives um, with the likes of Siri or, or Alexa. So it is made to solve a problem or a series of similar problems. The more theoretical and perhaps futuristic type of AI is the artificial general intelligence where we have a machine that will be capable of having an intelligence equal to human brains and also self-consciousness. The third one, perhaps the furthest uh, away, which remains very theoretical, is the artificial superintelligence, where we're going to have machines and robots that will be able to surpass the capabilities of humans and also perform tasks that we haven't thought of before. The second types of AI remain quite theoretical and it's perhaps telling that the best examples of them come from dystopian uh, sci-fi films such as uh, HAL, the rogue computer assistant from 2001 Space Odyssey. So when is AI going to replace your job? Most likely very soon, I'm joking. Personally, I think that AI should not be seen as different to any other technological breakthrough that we've seen over the years. Technology revolutionizes the way we do stuff, the way we operate on our daily lives and the way we make decisions. But the bottom line is that technology allows us to focus ourselves on something different, take away some of the hassle along the way, automate things, and also allow us to focus on something that is more rewarding for us. So we should consider AI technologies and other disruptive technologies as something that can support our long-term prosperity, improve our financial situation or the environmental sustainability, and also improve our healthcare systems. As an optimist, I see AI growing rapidly over the coming decade. Criticism about the ethics and trustworthiness of AI are very important and should be very seriously considered, but we also have to take into account that progress in research takes time, errors, mistakes. We need to gather the right people and expertise across a wide spectrum of backgrounds and disciplines to identify issues and we need to remain open and transparent. We also need more AI technical experts that would work with other scientists across interdisciplinary projects from climate change to healthcare. This is important in order to be able to challenge and reinvent current AI systems and become the Alan Turing's of uh, the future. All I can say is that I see a very exciting future for AI, both from a technical perspective and also the huge potential to rewrite the rules of entire industries, drive the economic growth and also transform all areas of life. AI's importance depends on its purpose. What is being used for? Today, computers and advanced communications are used to help us do stuff and take the heavy lifting off from us. In a similar way, AI will allow us to do stuff that we humans simply cannot. Take as an example a nuclear reactor disaster or another hostile environment where humans simply cannot operate or they cannot even be present. We do have currently robots developed that can operate under these conditions either autonomously or with the help of a human expert. 
there are a multitude of other applications. AI technology have been used to develop approaches where you can model the 3D structure of proteins with implications of design of new drugs or environmental sustainability. And also we do have deep learning systems that can support the decision making on cancer diagnosis. The potential that AI technologies are providing us are really endless and we should embrace this change in the same manner that we did with all other technological breakthroughs over the past century or so. We humans are very well placed to, to adapt, including reskilling ourselves and also upskilling.